Motorrad's chin mount for your action camera, plus one shout out. Let's talk about that. Let's get cracking. Good moto morning, beautiful people. Welcome to Kraken's Garage. I'm your host, Eric, and on Kraken's Garage, we discuss all good things on two and three wheels. In today's episode, we're going to talk about uh, Motorrad's chin mount action camera mounts and how this all went down. A company, Motorrad's, reached out to me on Instagram and said, let me send you some samples free of charge. I politely said, no thanks. I'll be glad to buy them and do a review. I'm not really down with uh, getting free merch. He insisted, so I'm like, fine, go ahead and send him, which he did. And he sent the original chin mount system, and we'll talk about that. And also the flex mount system, and we'll talk about that one as well. What do these two cost right out of the box? They're $19.99. I have to check the website to see if it's free shipping or not, but uh, they run 20 bucks. If you're interested in seeing uh, my thoughts on the uh, original chin mount system, I'll uh, post a video link right up here in the corner. First one we're gonna talk about is the uh, Flex SIM mount. And what you get in your package is an instruction card and a uh, alcohol prep pad, which is denatured alcohol that you see me use on a regular basis on my channel. And you get two items and you get this mount. And what's slick about it is it's flexible so you can bend it around the curvature of the snout of your helmet to work for you. I do like that it's streamlined in the sense that you don't have this great big gob of plastic and you don't have all this connectors and plumbing uh, all making wind noise for motovloggers. So uh, it appears on the surface uh, to be a good design. Now, before I go any further, both of these mounts were given to me, so this is a paid for promotion that I'm doing. That said, I'm not a fan of doing that. Both of these chin mounts will be available to my viewer base. So we have a couple of challenge challenges here on these. They have a two double-sided tape. Uh, the gentleman, I don't know his name that I spoke to on Instagram, went into quite a lengthy discussion about how it's not just double-sided tape. There was some active agent to make it work. I don't know about all that. It uh, seems uh, to me like it's your standard double tape, but I'm not going to use it. So what I'm gonna do is uh, Gorilla duct tape, and I'm gonna tape it to where it would be on my helmet to use it. And I will show you some footage of me using this. So here's some footage of me using this product. Um, and here are my thoughts on it. Uh, it conformed to the helmet knife Nicely. And so basically you, you bend these, I'll throw a picture up here. You bend these tips out on the sides, mount on the surface of your helmet after you've cleaned it with the uh, isopropyl alcohol. And once you get that secure, then you tack down each of the uh, corners of the sides. Here is an actual branded GoPro mount. And a lot of times, these products are both made in China, by the way, and a lot of times some of these aftermarket GoPro mounts, uh, the tangs that go in and slot into the GoPro mount, a lot of times aren't quite the same tolerances, so they, you have to fight them, and in some cases they actually don't work. I'm happy to report that it works just fine with the GoPro mount. Excellent job. In this particular case, I'm not putting it on this helmet. Let's say I put it on this helmet and the helmet is tilted down. Again, you have a situation where it's not gonna be able to tilt back far enough. What I like about this company is right out of the box, they provided an extension, which I feel chin mount, the original chin mount should have done. And that alleviates the problem. And you're off and rolling with an appropriate setup that you can adjust accordingly to suit your needs of your helmet and get the angle back when your helmet looks down, which was the challenge I had, whoops, with the original chin mount. Now the helmet that I mounted this one on with my Gorilla Tape is the uh, Ghost Bandit, which has a very flat snout on the front and that it sharply angles back on each side. Roughly that's your uh, projected surface coverage of your helmet, so it's quite stealthy as far as uh, taking up real estate on your beautiful helmet. I will say that it stayed on magnificently because the bending is quite aggressive for some of these helmets. And this is my AGV uh, Corsa. But if you take a look at the snout, it has a quite sharp snout on the front of it. So something like this is not going to work. It's impossible to make a 
action camera mount that's gonna fit every single helmet out there. So this company has again taken, been preemptive on, on covering those issues. And they make one for specifically for the AGV Pista, Corsta and also the K1s and that one runs $30. I never knew this, but one of the reasons why I never looked at an Icon Air Flight that has that face shield that comes all the way down to the chin, they, they make one for the Icon Air Flight for $24.99 as well. Now I didn't go into great detail as far as uh, showing video footage of um, the actual mount going down the road. It's pretty self-explanatory in my opinion. So this flex mount, Two thumbs up from Kraken. I think it uh, is just about 50% the price of a chin mount, and I think it's a better system that will work for your helmet. It uh, adhered properly, it did all the right things. Now this next one is the original chin mount. This is a different type system. Now this next one has a generic mount that may or may not work. In the case of my Ghost Bandit, it would not. So this is gonna be more helmet specific in my opinion. And then you have these arms that attach on the sides that are adjustable. All right, so you can accommodate many different sizes, but certainly not as many as the Flex does. It also comes with the ibuprofen alcohol wipe to clean your surface of your helmet before you mount any of these items. Pro tip, heat up the surface of your helmet with a uh, hair dryer or heat gun, uh, as well as lightly heat up the tape as well on the back. This is your standard 3M tape on the back of this. To give it much better adhesion, once you stick it to your helmet, do not use your helmet for 24 hours. Allow that tape to set up and anchor to your helmet appropriately. So I have, fortunately I have a nice selection of helmets in my garage. Uh, this particular setup with its uh, wing design did not work on my Scorpion EXO or of course my uh, AGVs, which I, I knew it wouldn't as our company website makes a specific one for those helmets. It did not work on my Ghost Bandit Simpson. Uh, it does work on my HJC, that's covered in bugs. Again, you have a very thin profile and there's a space right inside here that I can slip that in. When you mount the camera, there it is mounted on an OEM GoPro mount. So that's the only type of uh, way to attach it to the camera is with your standard GoPro attachment. That's as far back as it will uh, mount backwards. And no, it does not come with any other extensions. And you can see the line of sight in the helmet looking down. This one would not work without buying additional extensions. I think you have to have a very flat faced helmet, one that's not looking down. This one is not my favorite. I think your best bet is to go with the uh, Flex Slim uh, by Moto Reds. I think it uh, will accommodate you and you have a much higher uh, rate of uh, success on getting your camera mounted appropriately. So as I stated, uh, I'm gonna be giving these away. I was originally gonna give it to two different people and I'm not going to do that for a couple of reasons because I th obviously everybody's gonna want the Flex one because they have a higher percentage of it working for their helmet. So I'm gonna hold a random drawing. Just type in down below in. I in and that lets me know that you won and I will randomly pick somebody in the next video that I post and both of these mounts are headed to your way otherwise I don't want somebody to be salty that they didn't get this one and they got this one and it didn't work out for them. I think that's the only f fair way to handle this. So there's my first uh, review of a product that was sent to me free of charge. Um, let me know how you guys feel, how I handled this one and if I uh, um, appropriately handled it regarding ethics and morals of receiving free items and having an infomercial on your channel. That's so what I don't want to do on my my channel. But if all the products go to my viewers, I think that might be a good escape clause. So let me know what you think on that. And to all my end watchers, this week's shout out goes to that Harley couple. And you can see I'm wearing my Australia cap that Alan gave me from Perth. Lisa and Whitey have a whopping two videos out and they have 119 subs. They just started their channel recently. Uh, their motto is just a lucky couple from Melbourne, Australia, sharing their adventures and experiences on the road with anyone who will listen. As my dear old dad used to say, life is not a rehearsal. Ain't it the truth?
I don't know a whole lot about these folks with only two videos out, but they just had their first premiere. They did a cracker of the job. When they started their channel, they did a promo video that kind of showed uh, some of his editing ability and some great action shots that uh, made me want to gravitate and go look at their content. What I really like about this community, and in this case, the Australian community, is Whitey and Lisa logged on to the uh, forums for, uh, I, I think it's on Facebook, for all Australian motovloggers and got a lot of support and help to get them up and rolling, specifically from Harley Roadshow and Harley Throttle Juice. Paul and Elaine plus uh, Roger and Rochelle are just aces in my book and uh, they rose to the occasion to help this couple get up and get rolling and right out of the gate they came out with a kudos to Whitey and Lisa on that. I look forward to their content. I'm sorry, Whitey, I don't know what bike you have. Uh, I, I didn't see it discussed in your video or in your narrative, so uh, you'll have to share that maybe in a future video, but I assume it's a Harley based on the title of your uh, channel. Folks, I hope you go give these people a chance and go check them out. And if you decide you like and subscribe to them, please let them know the Kraken sent you. I would very much appreciate it. And there's my ghost dog, Bourbon. He's here to remind me to wrap up this video. If you would like to become a Patreon, the link is listed down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more in the future, hit that subscribe button right down there in the corner. And remember folks, go riding because it's good for you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.